Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Breakpoint Booster Box. This set is brand new. The official release date of this set was February 3rd, a couple of days ago, and I apologize on the delay on opening this set. There's a blizzard that hit where I live. We got 10 inches of snow, so I pre-ordered this box and it was delayed in shipping, so that's why it's a couple of days late. But this booster box I bought from Collector's Cash for $90. So I'll show a quick 360 view of the box and then get to opening the booster packs. Very excited to open these booster packs. The set's based around Mega Gyarados, so some pretty nice older Pokemon in this set, including Espeon, EX, Mega Scizor, Okay, so I have my scissors handy. I'll cut open the plastic here. And what I'm going to do is in part one here, I'm going to be opening the first 18 packs of the 36 in the box. And then part two, which I'll be uploading immediately after, I will be opening up the second 18 packs. I've actually opened up the Japanese equivalent of this set called Rage of the Broken Sky previously on YouTube. You should definitely take a look at that. So two stacks here. I'm actually going to start with the left stack. I know someone commented saying I always start with the right stack. I'll mix it up this video and start with the left stack. So first pack here has the Mega Gyarados on the cover artwork. You can get break cards in this set. I'll set the code card aside. I give away code cards on my blog every single day. Okay, so first card here is a Timpole. There's a Spritzy. Skrelp, Honage, Ducklet, there's a Pseudo Widow, Potion, Palpitoad, Reverse Hollow of, Growlithe, that is a common, and then the rare in the first pack, a Lilligant Non Hollow. And I will be opening all of the other Breakpoint products that are released in the future and the ones that are released on the official release date, like both Elite Trainer boxes, the Theme Decks, Blister Packs, anything like that I will be opening up as well, as well as doing a Breakpoint giveaway next week sometime. So second pack here starts off with a Scorpy. There's a Gibble, Psyduck, Furfru, there's a Ducklet, Electivire, Reverse Valley, Froggity Air, Petalil, and that is a common, Reverse Hollow, and then the rare in the pack is a Ferrothorn. Okay, on to the next pack here. I'll be doing an informational video on this set stating the pull rate and just general information on the set probably Monday, and then the following Monday I'll be doing how much are these cards actually worth. Okay, this pack starts off with a Psyduck. Followed by Phantom, there's a Glammeow, Gibble, Chikorita, Cloyster, next up is a Swana, then there's a Heatmore, Reverse Hollow of Glammeow, and that is a common card. And the final card in this pack, there we go, first Ultra Rare, you can see that color on the side there, it is a Ho-Oh EX. So, a Pokemon from the Johto region, a very nice pull right there. Brings back a lot of memories for me, putting thousands of hours into Pokemon Crystal. Ho-Oh was available in that game. Okay, next pack here, Mega Scizor on the cover artwork. I can state all of my better pulls at the end of both Part 1 and Part 2. If you want to skip ahead, I know it's more fun watching me open them live. Okay, so this pack starts off with a Honage. There's a Shinx. Followed by Spritzy. Glammeow. There's Slowpoke. Tierno. Pseudo Widow. Splash Energy. Ooh, there's a nice card right there. Was not expecting it at all. Luxray Break. I would say this Break card and then Greninja Break are the two Break cards I'm... Hoping for most out of this box, so a nice one there, Luxray Break. And I'm assuming you can get two Ultra Rare cards in one pack, like you can in Breakthrough. And the second card is a Zipstrika Non-Hollow. 
I probably opened a hundred or more booster packs of Breakthrough on YouTube. One pack had a break and an ultra rare in it out of that many packs I opened up. I believe it was in the Mega Aerodactyl EX collection box. I did that, so you should definitely take a look at that if you haven't already. Okay. This pack starts off with a Cricketot, followed by Shelder. There's a Drowsy, Slowpoke, Clefairy. Looks like it's knocked out already right there. There's a Puzzle of Time, Stantler, Cricketune, Reverse Hollow of a Scizor Spirit Link. That is uncommon. And the final card in this pack. Oh, there we go. Another Ultra Rare. It is a Manaphy EX. So a great run of pulls right here. Manaphy EX, a Luxray Break, and then a Ho-Oh EX. So hopefully that's leading to more good things to come. Not exactly sure what the pull rates are yet. I've seen a few people open these boxes and people have commented on my channel. It seems like there's pretty good pull rates in this box. Okay, this pack starts off with a Pharaoh Seed, Esper, Staryu, oh, there's a Blitzel. Pancham, Slowbro, Stantler, All Night Party with Umbri on there. There's a Deblade, is that a rare? Nope, just an uncommon reverse hollow. And then the actual rare in the pack, a Camerupt non hollow. Strange, I've pulled three ultra rares. If you count an, a break card as an ultra rare, have not pulled any hollow cards yet. Okay, so here is a Greninja break on the cover artwork. I saw on Poke Beach that someone is able to get Generations set cards in their Breakpoint packs. It would be interesting to see if I get one. So here is a Shinx to start this pack off. There is a Numa, Blitzel, Staryu, there's an Electabuzz, Luxio, Dunsparce, Psychic's Third Eye, Reverse solo of a Pokemon Catcher, bringing that back in this set. And then the rare in the pack, a Dragulge Hollow. So there's the first Hollow pull of this box. Of course, probably my most wanted card out of this box would be the Secret Rare, Gyarados EX Full Art, Golden Color. So far, none of the cards are really worth too much in this set. A lot of them are worth about $15 to $20, but as more people use them in decks, the prices will fluctuate a little bit more. Okay, so this pack starts off with an Esper, Phantom, Trubbish, Timpole, there's a Dot, Cloyster, Fighting Fury Belt, Heatmore, Reverse Hollow of, another Heatmore, it actually happens more than you'd think, two of the exact same cards right in a row, uncommon here, and then the final card in the pack, a Seismitoad EX. Not a Seismitoad EX, just a regular Seismitoad. Okay, next pack here. Be nice to pull that Mega Gyarados, maybe EX Full Art. Okay, this pack starts off with a Shelder, followed by Drowsy, Spritzy, Timpole, Clefairy. Aromatissi, Arcanine, there is a Misty's Determination. Oh, another break card right there. And second time I pulled a break card in this box, neither time expecting it at all. Golduck break, so second break of the box. And then the final card in this pack is a Golduck. There we go. So you need Psyduck and then you'll be able to pull, a, play the whole line right there. Huh. Sort of strange there. Okay, on to the next pack. Luxray break on this one. Pack starts off with a Shinx, followed by Spritzy. There's a Glamio, Ducklet, Timpole, Mawile. Max Elixir, Bayleaf, Reverse Hollow of, Reverse Valley, and this is a stadium card, full art basically where you can 
turn it upside down and it does a different thing. Pretty cool looking, that was new to Breakthrough. And then the final card in the pack, a Pangoro non Hollow. All right, on to the next pack here. About halfway through the first half of this Breakpoint box. Extremely good pull so far. Hopefully that's a sign to come. I already pulled out four different Ultra Rares, if you include Break as Rare cards. Okay, so first card in the pack is a Shelter. There's a Gibble. Honage. Ducklet. Trubbish. There's a Fighting Fury Belt. Max Potion. Sigilyph. Reverse Hollow of. Gibble. And the final card in the pack, a Greninja non hollow. Like the artwork quite a bit on this card. Okay, next pack. Yet to pull an EX full art or a Mega EX full art. There's one full art trainer in this set. Okay, this pack here starts off with a Blitzel. There's a Shelder. Psyduck. Phantom, Slowpoke, Professor Sycamore, Gyarados Spirit Link, Scizor Spirit Link, Ooh, Eradicate, and there's the first rare reverse hollow of the box, Eradicate, and then the actual rare in the pack, a Garbodor Hollow. So that makes six combined ultra rares and hollows already. But since those break cards are in the reverse hollow spot, should be getting two more hollows or ultra rares in the next six packs. Okay, pack here starts off with a Furfru, followed by C Dot, Psyduck, Esper, Growlithe, Pokemon Catcher, Splash Energy, Mawile. Reverse Hollow of Froakie, just a common, and the rare is a Zip Strike, a non hollow. Okay, this pack starts off with a Petalil. There's a Ratata, Numa. Electabuzz, Pharaoh Seed, Puzzle of Time, Swana, Misty's Determination, Reverse Hollow of, Sigilyph, that is just an uncommon card, and the rare in this pack, a Hypno Non Hollow. So it should be 50 50 of the remaining four packs here and getting a hollow or a ultra rare. Okay, this pack starts off with a Cricketot, followed by Pancham, Scorpy, Ratata, Slowpoke, there's a Great Ball Trainer, Delinquent, Nuzleaf, Reverse Hollow of, Honage, and that is just a common, and the rare in this pack is, there we go, just what I was talking about. It is, oh, a Ho-O EX Full Art. I really like the artwork on this card. Big fan of it. Reminds me of the Pokemon Gold cover artwork on there. But a very nice pull right there. One of the EX Full Art cards I was hoping for most from this box. So now I've pulled out both a regular Ho-O EX and an EX Full Art card. Okay, three packs left in this half of the box. Then on to part two. Okay, so pack starts off with a Drowsy. There's Cricketot, Skrelp, Staryu, Scorapy, Cricketune, Palpitoad, Arcanine, Drapion is the reverse hollow, second rare reverse hollow of the box, and then the final rare in the pack, a Meowstic non hollow. 
seems like there's a lot of runs of the same type of Pokemon. I know earlier I had three Psychic type in a row. I think before that I had a few Water type in a row. Okay, this pack starts off with a Pharaoh Seed. There's a Froakie. Corsola. Drowsy. There's a Petalil. Followed by Electivire. There's a Bayleaf. Perugly. Reverse Hollow of. Greninja. Now that's a nice rare Reverse Hollow right there. Pulled that in regular non hollow form a few packs ago. And then the second rare in this pack. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Another ultra rare in this half of the box. It is an Espeon EX. It's one of the EX cards I was hoping for most. Basically, I wanted to get Ho-Oh EX and Espeon EX the most. A very nice pull right here. Still one more pack to go in this half of the box, and then I can summarize my pulls. Been very impressed with the pull rate so far in Breakpoint here. It's the last pack. Wouldn't really expect anything but a non-hollow here. Okay, so first card is a Shelter. Followed by Chikorita, Froki, there, there's a Clefairy, Growlithe, Dunsparce, Durant, Luxio, Reverse Hollow of a Pharaoh Seed, just a common, and then the final card in part one here, a Shiftry Non Hollow. So there you have it. There's part one. Again, I did buy this box from Collector's Cash. That's www.collectorscash.com. They're selling this booster box for $90 right now. So I can summarize my polls here. And there should be a button on the screen very shortly that will lead you over to part two as well as a link in the description. So two hollow cards in this half of the box. Garbodor and then a Dragulch. So two hollows. And let, let me organize the cards here quickly. Pulled out quite a few ultra rares. So first I'll show the two break cards. So I pulled out two breaks. Luxray break. And Golduck break. And then I pulled three EX cards out. So there's Espeon EX. There's a Ho-Oh EX. And then the third EX card is Manaphy. And then I pulled out one EX Full Art card, which was Ho-Oh. So in total, in part one, I pulled out two Hollow cards and four Ultra Rares. Three EX, one EX Full Art, and then two Break cards. So very, very happy with my pulls in part one. Hopefully part two will just will have just as good as pulls as right now. So... Thanks everyone for watching. Before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, as well as check out that link for part two. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.